Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be super chill, super laid back, nothing fancy. Um, just an intimate time with you and me. Um, I'm going to address some of the frequently asked questions that I've gotten on social media as well as past videos um, and then also through Snapchat. So um, if you don't follow me on Snapchat or any other social media networks, I'll link them down below in case you guys are interested in knowing more. I like Snapchat because it's an opportunity to actually get involved more so with you guys like on a one-on-one -on -one basis so if you have any questions feel free to leave them down below um i'll either answer them you know through the comments or i'll put them in a future uh question and answers videos the first one i opened already it's not so much a question but like a comment slash I guess input or my personal input on it. So this is from Snapchat. Love, love, love your personality and your style. I too had a breast augmentation 11 years ago and I'm pretty small with big boobs like you, lol. <laughs> I love to dress up in cute clothes and just be different which a lot of people judge me for. Girl, I know what you mean. Uh, I get a lot of hate from girls mostly because of the way I look but I'm learning to shine them on. It used to bother me a lot and made me sad but as long as I'm happy with myself that's all that matters, right? Yes, that is all that matters. It's no secret. I've never tried to hide it. Um, I did get a breast augmentation. I did a full video just solely dedicated to my surgery and my experience which I'll link down below. Initially I um, you know went to a doctor and a consultation only because I was unhappy with the way that my boobs were and I went to uh, talk to a, to a doctor see what my options were and um, yeah, so that's just how that happened. I know a lot of people think that my boobs are too big for my body. My mom thinks that my boobs are, are like too big for me. So I am more of like a smaller frame kind of girl and my boobs are a bit bigger, especially in some outfits. I would agree even sometimes. Um, but the biggest thing is that you are happy with the way you are. I made the decision to have my surgery. I'm the one that has to live with my decision with my surgery. Um, and ultimately, the only people that ever mattered were my family, my husband, and that's pretty much it. I'm so happy with the results and I'm so happy that I actually went through with it because after having my daughter, I waited three years to do the surgery um, and I couldn't be happier. So as long as you're happy, that's all that matters. I don't care what anybody else has to say. Next question, also from Snapchat. Are you planning to do other state meetups? I know several people are actually here at Stewart, so I definitely want to uh, do a meetup, like a local meetup, uh, just so that I can meet you guys. Um, we can go out to lunch, we can go shopping or whatever. And if you inbox me through YouTube, it's very, very hard to reply because a lot of times I'll read the message and then I'll forget to reply or I won't be able to reply immediately uh, but to go through my inbox and try to find that message it would literally take me forever because I have so many messages in my inbox so it's best to contact me through Twitter or Instagram or snapchat and then we can kind of set things up that way would you say in a marriage okay out of experience would you say in a marriage where you're constantly disrespected and the relationship is unstable and a child is also also involved or would you stick it through because of the long history with that person and for your child and hope things get better uh, would you stay in a marriage where you're constantly disrespected and the relationship is unstable and a child is involved relationships in the beginning are always you know they call it the honeymoon phase or the honeymoon stage and it's amazingly perfect in the beginning nothing is ever wrong um, you're you're you get the butterflies and you're so happy and giddy all the time <laughs> um, but after that is gone and over with people change you know uh, I, I believe people can change for the better I believe people get worse throughout time I was in a very unstable relationship very abusive mentally um, it got to the point towards the end where it got physically abusive um, and it was just very very toxic for me and um, I tried to hold on to the fact that he could change um, and that he could uh, or that I had the power to change him and there was no children involved I can't imagine being in a relationship where a child is involved because they definitely don't think that you should stay in a relationship because of the child I have come from divorced parents my my both of my parents 
um, have remarried and I couldn't be happier. I would rather them be happy than see them unhappy with each other. Like I see my mom and my dad and if I were to see them unhappy with each other all the time, that would play on my emotions I feel like and um, I would rather see my dad happy with somebody else and my mom happy with somebody else and I, that in turn makes me happy if everybody else is happy don't get me wrong I believe in second chances I believe that the Lord can change hearts um, Randon is one of them you know what I mean uh, if I didn't hang on then we wouldn't be where I what where we are today uh, the first year of marriage was hell oh my gosh if you guys have read my blog which I don't have anymore I know a lot of you are so mad at me for that um, one of these days I'll, I'll try to rewrite it again and then finish the story but um, the first year of our marriage was absolute hell and I wanted to let go so many times and uh, but I did it I believed in my heart that the Lord would change his heart and he did uh, but the thing with that is your husband or your spouse or your significant other has to be willing um, you know to make that change and to open their hearts to to God and thankfully my husband and I we are religious we are spiritual uh, so the unequally yoked aspect doesn't necessarily apply to us it did at the beginning um, which is why you know if the Lord is not a part of my husband's life or my significant other's life then it's not for me I don't condone divorce by any means like it breaks my heart when I hear stories about divorce but I also in the end don't think that it's healthy to stay in a relationship just because of children or just because you're wishing or hoping that that person will change you know what I mean don't get me wrong I don't want you guys thinking that um, I want you guys to give up or I would give up or whatever the I've wanted to give up so many times and I'm so thankful that I didn't but if things didn't go, you guys catch up where I'm trying to go with this. I hope I answered your question. Well, how do you manage your time between being a mom and working out, cooking, cleaning, and still manage to get ready every day? <laughs> so that's funny. Um, uh, let's see. How do you manage your time being a mom? Well, my daughter, she's five, and she's going to be going to kindergarten this year, which is so crazy. I'm so sad. Uh, but she's been independent for quite some time, and she I've always been able to get ready. No matter how old she was, she was always very independent, and I could just, you know, even one, two years old, I could just sit her in her playpen, and she can, you know keep herself occupied while I got ready. You know, she comes in here while I film or whatever. She'll play in the background or on the side over here. Um, she knows to be quiet or she'll wear her earphones while she watches her iPad or whatnot. So, you know, she makes some sacrifices for me while I... Oh my God, did you guys just hear that? That scared the shit out of me. Ray Ray! That was so loud. Holy crap, that was so loud. Oh my god, that scared me. Ray Ray! Come here, please! Good gosh, that was loud. <sighs> um, so she makes some sacrifices, you know, while I do my thing. And then um, I have to remember that I need to make sacrifices for her. Um, because she gives me my time to do what I need to do. And then I have to remember to give that time back to her. Did you hear that, babes? Yeah. It was so loud. Yeah, I got scared. Were you? Okay, come here. Come. We're filming. Okay. I you have to be quiet, okay? All right, so let's see. Um, still manage to get ready every day. So, yeah. Uh, I always am in this room, and she's always with me. So, she's always been so nice enough to let me have that time to get ready or a lot of times my husband will be in the living room or whatever she'll just hang around she's old enough now to where she doesn't need so much attention um, as far as hands-on attention or I'm constantly looking at her because she's you know five so yeah yeah baby mm -hmm. uh -huh. yeah she's such a good little girl little baby okay next question wow that was so loud huh baby uh -huh, I got scared and I slept and I hide under that slide. You hid under the slide? Uh-huh. Why did you hide under the slide? Because it was scary. <laughs> okay, so I'm back. Um, it's like seriously thundering outside. I'm pretty sure you guys caught that drift a couple minutes ago. Um, 
but yeah, needless to say, we're not going to ballet because it's kind of far, not far, far, but far enough to drive in like thundery, stormy weather. Not happening. How do you get your hair so healthy? I've been trying to get my hair long. What's your tips? Um, now, my hair has always been pretty long. Like, it grows pretty fast. Um, I do take care of it. I deep condition it every couple, like maybe twice a week or not even maybe once a week. I don't dye it a lot because my hair is naturally very, very dark. And if you know anything about hair, um, the darker it is, it's harder to lift. So obviously I'm at my darkest. I can't go any darker. Uh, and But for me to go lighter, it's like such a process uh, that I'm just too impatient. And there's only like two people that I trust with my hair and they are nowhere near me. So uh, needless to say, I don't dye my hair a lot. When it comes to like caring for it, I do, you know, like deep condition it. I do wear heat protectant, especially now during the summer. You guys will see this a lot, this like top high bun. I've been wearing it nonstop, like almost literally every day. Um, so I haven't been using heat, you know, products on my hair and all that stuff. So that kind of stuff helps. Um, it's definitely not detrimental. I don't wash it every single day. I, if anything, wash it every three days or so. My hair doesn't get greasy or anything like that, so I can go quite a while without washing my hair. Next question. I'm loving your new videos. Why, thank you. It's not so much a question, but I love you so much for it. Uh, do you ever think of changing your hair color? Yes, I do, all the time. But like I just said, my hair is so hard to lift the black. Um, and the darkness of it that I just don't have the patience to, um, you know, go through the process of lightening my hair. All right, ooh, a video. So usually I use baby soap to clean my brushes, but this right here, this right here is, uh... Oh. Ashley, my name's Lauren, and my question for you is, how do you manage being a mommy and making YouTube? Uh, being a mom and making videos is actually a lot easier than people may think. Uh, like I said earlier, Raiden is just seriously such an angel baby. <laughs> I've never really had issues like as far as do getting ready. I know a lot of moms out there have trouble, especially because I only have one. So especially when you have, you know, more than one kid. I imagine it to be a little bit harder um, or a lot harder than it is, you know, having one kid. And she's very independent, so a lot of times I'll just do what I need to do, and then once I'm done, I'm done. Then we can go. We like to go to the mall, walk around. We like to go out to eat, especially now that she's older. Um, she's a lot more fun in that aspect where I always looked forward to the day where I can go shopping with my daughter. It's just nice to be able to go out to eat and then have like a conversation with her even if the conversations aren't you know adult conversations they're still very priceless and I treasure those moments. How do you deal with your husband being in the military? How do you deal with the stress and cope when he's gone? Um, I've mentioned this before. Before my husband got into the army, I was like anti-military. Not necessarily anti-military, like against the military. I was just in the mindset that military life wasn't for me. Um, I had never had family members in the military. Actually, no, I take that back. I had a cousin in the Air Force. I somehow figured in my mind that military life wasn't for me. However, that was like the biggest, one of the stereotypes of like military life. I love being a military spouse. I love just, I'm so proud of my husband and he works so hard in his field and I just couldn't be happier. It's definitely hard. You know, when he's deployed, trust me, oh my god, that deployment was just hell. I actually like to have some alone time, so if he goes on VIPs or if he goes to school for like two, three weeks or whatever, um, I, I take advantage of that. I take advantage of that time to spend more quality time with Raiden and I. We have our girl nights. We'll, you know, watch movies and whatever. Um, it's part of the blessings of having a daughter. It's like literally I have a BFF with me all the time. <laughs> I have a call. So many interruptions today. Okay, here's another one from Snapchat. How do you always manage to stay so fabulous? Being a mom, a daughter, a wife, like how? <laughs> I hardly think that I'm fabulous, but I do have my moments of 
feeling fabulous. Uh, to be honest, it's just, you know, life. I feel like if you are dealing with hardships, which I definitely do, and a lot of times if I take a little break from YouTube, it's because I'm dealing with something personally in my life. Um, I don't think anybody should have to be positive all the time, just because if you try to pretend to be positive all the time, um, you know, it's gonna hit you like a brick and you could like snap. So I definitely feel like it's healthy to take a as long as you need to just kind of recoup your thoughts, recoup your emotions and deal with it accordingly. I'm not always vulnerable to you guys. Like I don't, I don't feel like I expose myself in that way uh, for you guys at all, <laughs> but I definitely feel like I want to try to open up a little bit more. I know that a lot of my demographic is in the military side of things or aspect, um, whether it be like military spouses or whatnot. So I feel like in the future or in the coming months, I definitely want to be more, um, you know, translucent to you guys, uh, just because you guys see me like, oh, happy, welcome back to my channel. Um, but I'm not always like that, I swear. My husband can attest to that. Um, but I definitely want to be more, you know, um, translucent is the best, is the best way. Or I definitely want to be more exposed to you guys so you guys can see. Not me, you know, sulking, but I definitely want you guys to have somebody to relate to because I feel like, um, you know, a lot of you, I always get, like, Texas or whatever through snapchat just talking about military life and I want you guys to know that you're not alone and that you can't we can relate together um, you know and I can be strong for you and in turn you guys can be strong for me so um, I don't know if that really answered that question but not sure if you did your video yet but I have so many questions for you but I would say I would like to know who your favorite YouTube beauty gurus are so the first YouTube beauty vlogger that I ever watched was Dulce Candy and she has been a favorite ever since day one um, because she's, I feel like we're kind of similar in the sense where she's very outgoing in her videos but like me I talk to you guys and we can relate or whatever but I'm literally I'm talking to a camera um, so I, I don't feel judged or whatever. Very humble person and I and I really do admire that especially um, to the level that she's grown to be at um, she's been a favorite she's yeah so Dulce Candy if you ever watch this I've loved you from the beginning girl next question do you plan on having baby number two you no know, I change my mind all the time I just felt very attached to her and I kind of felt a little bad if I would have to kind of split up my time you know um, but now that she's going to kindergarten and now that she's five years old and she's a lot more independent um, I'm, I'm more open to the idea but um, it just it hasn't been in the playing cards right now where did you get your shoe shelves so these oh, this is so annoying these shoe shelves back here my husband actually got from Lowe's they're just regular shelves um, that you can measure out the actual shelves to see the le the length and width that you want. Um, but I've had this for a while. They initially we got them in uh, New York, and then we just brought them back here. Um, I painted them white, and then that's it. These guys are actually from IKEA. How did you lose your baby weight? Well, it's funny because I got asked this on I don't know where Snapchat I think, and. I laughed because I'm like, my daughter is five years old. If I still had baby weight, it would just be an excuse. I mean, when in actuality, I'd just be eating french fries and pizza all the time. <laughs> How old were you when Randon and you got married? Uh, Randon and I were, we were 21 when I got married. Um, and then, no, I was 22. I had just turned 22 that month. How many siblings do you have? I have four brothers and two stepsisters. Uh, two brothers are actually half brothers. I have two full blood biological brothers and then two stepsisters. I mean, excluding my stepsisters, I am the middle girl, so I am the only girl. I've been spoiled all my life and I love it. <laughs> Why don't you vlog anymore? <laughs> um, I do vlog, I love vlogging, and I know you guys do too. I know 
I've gotten so many people on the last couple videos that I did. Um, where are your vlogs? Why don't you vlog? But I definitely want to vlog more. If you were to have another baby, would you want a boy or a girl? Um, I feel like now that I have my girl, I would love to have a boy. Uh, but, I mean, as long as, you know... The baby is healthy and strong and whatnot that's all that really matters I mean I really don't have a preference I just feel like obviously like if I have a girl it'd be nice and fun to have a boy so are you still going to school yes I am still going to school I am um, <laughs> I have another year and some change left okay what would you be doing if you weren't doing YouTube um, I would probably be working I don't know, sales maybe? I hate sales. I worked for Michael Kors and I hated it. How did you start YouTube? Now, this is something that I always get. All, I always get this question. Um, I started YouTube as a hobby and I feel like a lot of people are misinformed uh, because people feel like YouTubers change over time and it's like people can't change and that's where I feel like the misinterpretation is it's like people as people change over time I feel like that's natural whether it be on YouTube whether it be in um, sales whether it be in the restaurant business uh, people change and people grow um, I yes I initially started my YouTube channel as a hobby it was something to do to pass the time something I enjoy doing now this is something that I do full-time um, and I'm very blessed to be able to do it uh, but people think that I'm selling out in a sense um, which I totally understand where you would see that and where you would um, kind of get that impression However, on the other side of things, you guys have to know that this is my job and this is something that I'm able to contribute to my family. Um, so with that being said, I do do sponsored videos. I do make videos with products that I receive for free. That's it, It's just part of the territory and I feel like YouTube is such a great, great tool for advertising and marketing that a lot of companies utilize the source. YouTube um, to get their products out there and if I was a business I would do that too um, I feel like if anybody had the opportunity to you know further themselves and further their career like obviously you're gonna do it um, now this is where I would not lose my dignity for something like that like I definitely want to stay true to myself and that's something that my husband always makes sure he'll be the first one to pop the bubble if I ever got my head got like huge you know what I mean so I do respect and admire him for that but you guys um, have been such a strong support system for me just in the years that I've done YouTube and I'm so appreciative for all the love and support that you guys have shown me and I'm so blessed that I haven't had as nasty as you know other people have had as far as like the comments and the negativity on their channel um, so I'm so thankful for that I need to knock on wood but I'm definitely blessed to have you guys because you guys are amazing and you guys definitely support me 100% and I could not be any more appreciative and I really 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 want you guys to know that so that's pretty much it you guys uh, hopefully I answered your question if I did not feel free to leave them down below because I will be doing another Q&A maybe in like a couple weeks or so um, feel free to ask me anything funny ones you know crazy ones or whatever um, this was a little bit more people just can't be oh. hello Yeah. Okay. Okay. I love you too. Bye. Okay, guys. I'm so sorry. I feel like this video has been all over the place. My apologies. Uh, but yeah, so that's pretty much the video. If you guys have any other questions that you want me to answer in a following video, in a future video, uh, definitely leave them down below. Um, that way I can refer back to this video to get all the questions. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, I will see you guys in the next video. Mmm.